Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to another nostalgic review with The Domain. Today we're having a look at the Arctic Wolverine and in the previous episode we had a look at the Arctic Warthog. So it seems quite fitting that they're together as a pair. I said in the previous episode I love when Mega has a coloured theme. I love the covert upsets, I love the uh, green, obviously the UNSC with Halo Infinite has been fantastic and I love the Arctic ones as well. This came out in 2010 and Mega were stepping it up maybe we got this marine and yes we had had a couple of green marine iterations in the brute chopper the gremlin and blind bags but it was still really nice to get an arctic marine with this one we also had arctic pelican pilots in blind bags we had arctic spartans it was a really cool line and they brought back the arctic uh warthog recently which was good you know i i love the nostalgic one and they did i want to point out they have brought out another wolverine since this and I don't know, man, like it's a good Wolverine, but I think this was a better design. This bulky, taller, not like flat and dark greens. Like I love this. I think this is actually better than the uh, Wolverine that we got recently. And we have had a green Arctic and Covert Ops Wolverine in this basic iteration. The Marine, greys, highlight and contrast against this white. The gray backpack matches his assault rifle, same as the normal Marines. And there is a nice white wash that sinks into his armor, giving him a nice dirty sort of uh, grizzly in the battlefield feel to him. And the hunter, Mega loves this hunter, let me tell you. When you see this hunter on any packaging, he's dead center. They love him. Like, they must have been so proud of this hunter when it first came out. And you can tell why. Like, this is a phenomenal figure. They must have really put a lot of money, a lot of budgeting, a lot of molding into making this, and it shows. We got grays, bronze, silvers, blues, so much running through this figure. He's got so much character. I love the detail detailing on his let go low, uh, exposed skin there. He would always be losing these, which is a shame, but they work so well. And there's three different sizes that run up. I think it, it just did the job perfectly at the time. His cannon is quite basic. And yeah, they've improved the Hunter a lot in the new mold. But this, you've got to give Mega so much credit for this coming out in their second year of production. It's so highly detailed. This Wolverine as well crazy amount of detailing, so many stickers, it's actually kind of ridiculous. Look at all these stickers, it's wild. Like, it's so detailed. And I love the battle damage. I've said recently that's what Mega is missing from, uh, you, know, you know, newer sets. I also love this little searchlight, great detail. These cannons rotate round. It's very rare to get 100% complete Wolverine, so I was happy I could get this. And this is being sent to one of my friends, Warhammer Richard, so it's gonna be great in his collection. Back in the day, the sticker sheets also came with this little Halo logo. Usually I didn't stick it onto anything. I maybe put it on my phone case or something, but the, whoever originally had this put it on the Wolverine itself. The firing missiles, one, two, three, four. Is that not gonna fire? Oh, I guess that one doesn't fire. Let's try this side. Yeah, they're gonna fire. <laughs> really great. And the fact that you get eight of these is awesome. Gosh, you would lose these as a kid. I swear most of my original Wolverines only had half of the missiles left. I know old 2010 kids can feel that one. This uh, turret in general also rotates really nicely on these double ball joints and swivels round like so. On the back, we've got nice translucent transparent bricks indicating its backlights. It's so detailed, man. The Caterpillar tracks work really well though they are prone to splitting quite easily and some of these stickers run across multiple bricks and we'll talk about the bricks the injection molding uh, that mega uses on these means that every single one of the bricks is completely different like some of them look completely different and that just adds a battle damage a raw a realistic effect to it and you can really see it on the top of this my goodness that is awesome mega were also trying very hard to improve on their sort of sh smoothing off of surfaces a lot of the original sets were very rough and these nah these have nice smoothed off nice curved edges and also this wolverine turret folds up a little bit giving an extra bit of articulation guys i'm absolutely in love with this set and you should be too uh, the wolverine holds up arguably more than almost any other original set i'm reviewing the gremlin tomorrow and i think that one uh, holds up too it's just such a good set guys even these little fold down pieces here for when it's stationary i just think this is 
one of the best original sets, like one of the best sets to come out in the first few years of Mega for sure. The cockpit is uh, pretty basic, but has a little uh, sticker detailing for the Marine to sit inside and fire his missiles. I don't think that Hunter stands an absolute chance against a fully missiled Wolverine. It's it's not going to be very uh, not going to be a very good day for that let go low. So thank you very much for tuning in today, and thank you to my patrons particularly for supporting this video with three dollars or more every month. Let me know in the comments down below if this is a nostalgic set for you. Did you get it when it first came out or do you want to pick it up now you've seen this review? As always guys, I really do appreciate the support on these nostalgic reviews. I'm having a great time. I'm going to do the Wolverine, the Red Hornet and dozens more after today. And if you want to check out my previous ones on the Arctic Warthog, we've got the Locust. We got so many great reviews. They're all on my channel. You can find them there. And the Hunter is signing off.